Hello everyone, this is Edgar from Brash Monkey, and I'm excited to show you a powerful new feature for the pro version of Spryder, which is Texture Packer integration. If you're not familiar with Texture Packer, you can check it out at texturepacker.com. It's the industry standard sprite sheet creation tool in pretty much every format you would ever want to export to, and every option you could think of is available in the pro version of Texture Packer. And so people have been asking for a long time for a way to integrate Spryder with Texture Packer to create sprite sheets. So this is what we came up with. And thank you to Andreas Lowe for working with me from Code and Web. I'm probably not pronouncing his name right. I apologize. But uh, he worked with me to make this as seamless and uh, perfect of a workflow as possible. So the way that it works is you would want to pack all your textures that you use to create your character into a sprite sheet and all you have to do is go to file generate texture packer sprite sheet file and you need to have texture packer installed to do this and you choose a template I'm going to choose temp json max rex and then I choose pack textures now with texture packer and I can choose whether I want to open the containing folder upon completion and whether or not I want to show the log and so I press OK and it finishes and it shows me the log and opens up the folder for me since that's the option I chose and you can see here that the textures are all packed and rotated and the blank space around the sprites is removed to fit it in as small a space as possible <clears throat> and this particular format is a JSON format that Spryter can read and <clears throat> the way that sprite sheets look when they're in your project folder is you can see the image down here of the actual sprite sheet with the file extension says JSON instead of the actual image extension and it has a blue outline around it and then you can double click on this and then it shows you the folder structure inside and you can just use them as you would any other sprite and do anything you would to a normal image and you can use the any of the features that you're used to and uh, currently with the current version of texture packer it will not show you the subfolders if you have these images and subfolders but the upcoming version of texture packer which should be around sometime in August will work with these templates here that are named Spryder rather than JSON and then it will automatically preserve the folder structure for you so that we when it loads your object your sprites are still in the subfolders that you used them in so that's just the JSON format that Spryder can read but you might want to export a very specific uh, configuration for your uh, for your project and so you can create your own customized template with texture packer extremely easily you just create a new template I'm gonna choose Cocos 2D and I can name the files anything I could call this data file but if you choose to if you wanted to just name it after your actual project name, for instance, name it, uh, this project is called uh, Reaper Enemy. So if you just wanted to name it your project name, then you can do percent sign STPS, and that will be replaced by the project name. And so I'm going to put a name for the data file and percent sign STPS dot ping for the image file and then I can choose the output level, the DPI. So you can set any options you want, anything that Texture Packer is capable of doing, and you save this file that had all my options. I don't put any images in it. And then I save this to the Spryder directory in Texture Packer templates. And I'm going to call this one My Video Template. And now in Spryder, under generate texture packer sprite sheet files my video template is there as one of the options so it's extremely powerful and easy to use and once again once I select my new template regardless of how many options I set I can just say pack textures now with texture packer and then it will create a sprite sheet with those custom options that I set and so that's the basics of how texture packer integration works with Spryder. let us know what you think and if you haven't already, check out Texture Packer at texturepacker.com and check out Spryder at brashmonkey.com. And thanks for watching.